Hey everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and I'm making a quick video on how to make einkorn flour pasta at home. And you can see that little clock that at three o'clock in the afternoon, and starting with nothing on the kitchen counter. Got my mixer out. I'm using a dough mixer, whatever that's called, the paddle, or it's not a paddle, it's the dough mixer, and measured out two cups of einkorn flour. Got my nonstick pad out, and I have seven eggs out and a rack to hang my pasta on. I am using my mixer, but you can do this without using a mixer. So I'm going to use one whole egg and six egg yolks. You can certainly mix the flour and eggs by hand. Most people do on the counter, or a lot of people do. And then uh, to get your flour, you do a crank pasta maker, or you could actually use it with a, a rolling pin. Super old school. So you can see here I just Put everything in, I put a splash, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil in, the one whole egg, six egg yolks, and I measured out two cups of einkorn flour. I don't use it all here, so I'd use maybe 70, 80% of it. Uh, see how dry it is, see how wet it is. These were pretty big eggs, so I needed to add a little bit more flour, and uh, it's still gonna be a little sticky. You want it um, to have some spring, be wet, not dry. I like this ratio, Pretty works out pretty well and then use the rest of the flour that's in your bowl as you roll out the pasta. So I'm gonna put the roller attachment on the, right there, on the mixer, and you wanna roll your pasta out thin enough so it fits through that mixer there. Make sure your setting of the pasta wheels or the pasta uh, rollers there are the right, the widest setting as you get started, and then just fold it back and forth a couple times, roll it through, fold in thirds, roll it through, and I'm doing this with both pieces just to get it nice and uh, evenly distributed and smooth and it'll start to feel a little bit more not wet and sticky but nice and um, kind of silky it, it's you do it a few times you'll, you'll know what it should feel like so I cut it in half again and now I'm just squeezing down the rollers and it'll get thinner and thinner and just take it down as far as you think you need for your noodles so I'm doing thicker fettuccine noodles uh, I can't remember I took it to four or five not super thin but um, Probably could have taken it one more. I think I took it to four on this one. But you can see how it's getting longer. Take that off, and now you put your cutter blade on. Again, you can do this with a hand crank. And then roll your sheet through and catch it. I'm not, obviously, very good at putting it up on the, the rack there, but I'm just spreading it out a little bit so that the, uh, the noodles don't dry, stuck to one another. And you can leave this out for a couple hours after you make it. So just run your, your sheets through, and if you're using a, a mixer, there'll be as many cutters, or I don't know if as many, but there are lots of different cutters that you can use. So spaghetti, fettuccine, um, all sorts of different cutters. I think there's a, like a lasagna cutter, which I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen that one. Uh, but again, just send it through, and that's about it. So with fresh pasta, I think I have a little bit left in the video. Fresh pasta does not cook nearly as long as store-bought pasta and so once you get your water going uh, I always add uh, quite a bit of salt and then you'll only cook it for maybe two minutes um, top so look that took me just about half an hour to make the pasta hang it up and dry there it is and it's nice and golden the einkorn gives it a, um, plus all the egg yolks give it a, a really nice golden flavor so there you go I have the water coming up to boil plenty of salt throw it in add a little timer there two minutes and then I just propped it up, let it drain, and serve it up. That's it. Thanks.